So for pretty much four seasons, the originals has asked us to ignore the fact that Marcel Gerard is black, that his adoptive family is white, and that that racial play has a serious role in the series. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the show, the originals, or these characters, basically the originals is the vampire show that came out um, as a spinoff to the Vampire Diaries. And it involves and centers around the first family of vampires, the originals called the Michelsons. And they are made up of Elijah, who is the oldest brother, Klaus, who is the half-brother wolf vampire super hybrid, Rebecca, the up until the second season only daughter and constant love interest murderer, Finn, who no one likes and is dead, Cole, the youngest one who is kind of annoying and likes to kill people. And recently in season two, it was introduced to the oldest child, Freya, the oldest daughter, who is a witch and not a vampire or werewolf hybrid like Klaus. Basically, their mother was a super powerful witch, made them into the first family of vampires. They are the first vampires, which all vampire bloodlines in this universe are based out of. And they've been basically fucking up people's lives for over a thousand years and are always wondering why people want to kill them. So Finn is the oldest boy, then Elijah, then Klaus. So Klaus is the second youngest son. No, he's, the, yeah, he's, yeah, because you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> basically, Klaus, um is the more, most powerful of them. He is also the most emotionally damaged and constantly has a bunch of issues with his family. In the originals, he has a weird, super duper hybrid child with Haley, who's another werewolf. It's very convoluted and not really important to what I'm trying to talk about, but I just want to give you some background to know. Do you see how convoluted all this sounds? This is the show, okay? And in the show, Klaus adopts a young former black slave named uh, Marcel Gerard, who he names Marcellus, nicknamed Marcel, adopts and raises with his family. And we go back and forth throughout them, but as the show begins, Marcel is the basically king of New Orleans vampires, and he's running things great, and Klaus is like, well, I'm jealous of all your shit, even though I'm your father, and I'm going to take it all from you. And every time you try to get a little bit of power back or empower yourself, I'm going to shit on you and destroy the things that you love because I'm petty. And even though I'm your father, I want to see you fail. Make me feel good about myself, you know, whatever. And <clears throat> the racial dynamics on the originals has sort of inherited the fruit of the poisonous tree of the Vampire Diaries. Even though there are a lot more POC background characters in the originals, they really don't have very many storylines. They die off very quickly. And we're really only left with two, which are Marcel and Vincent, who also came in season two and has been a reoccurring character ever since. Uh, Marcel's story is very frustrating because he is essentially Klaus's son. He adopted him, he raised him, that's his son. But the narrative refuses to sort of give Marcel the recognition he deserves or the love and affection that he should have as a member of this family. And this is highlighted even more so recently because of Hope, who is Klaus's biological child. It is this issue of both race and biological parenthood, which is kind of mixed together to make Marcel's story very unsavory because first of all you have Marcel's origins being in slavery his father was a white man who raped his mother and that's you know and hated him because you know he's a slave mulatto and that's his backstory and his origin and the show never really takes the time to examine what that must mean for him it doesn't take the time to examine how he must have felt being that way. I don't think the time to really establish anything about the originals dealing anything positive with slavery. We don't know if they freed other slaves. It just really seems like it was kind of like whatever. Um, and how that affects his relationship with the Michelsons is also not really dealt with because the reality is you have Marcel being a child of rape and slavery who is because of the color of his skin automatically separated from his biological family and not being able to 
have the full love and affection of his biological father because he won't acknowledge him because he's black. To also now having Klaus his adoptive father not give him the same love and attention that he gives to his biological white child. So in both the biological and adoptive families, Marcel is not allowed to really be seen as a part of it because in one he's black and the other one he's not, he doesn't have the right blood. And the narrative is really based around this idea that the, the Michelsons are this really tight-knit, close family that want to stay together and protect each other, but they don't protect or give Marcel that treatment as a son, as a Michelson. I mean, he doesn't even have the same last name as them. Klaus, even though he apologizes and says, oh, Marcel, I know I have done right by you, this, that, and a third, the entire storyline of season three, the ending of them betraying Marcel and really attempting to take his life because he might get too powerful, really highlights the fundamental flaw of this sort of like they're all a family narrative and the colorblindness because this would never happen to Hope. If Hope had been prophesized to be the death and destruction of the Michelsons, would they kill her? Would they destroy her? No, they would absolutely find another way to save her life. And if, say, for example, you know, if Klaus wakes, well, had woken up 20 years from now rather than five, and... Hope was a strong woman who had created her own empire somewhere in the middle of bumfuck, no one cares. Would Klaus be so jealous, so hated to see his daughter be successful that he would try and tear her down? Absolutely not. But he does that to Marcel, his son. Someone who he acknowledges as his son because when Elijah kills, um, kills Marcel, in the penultimate episode for season three, he even says that he felt of him as a son. When Haley tries to comfort him and says, you know, let's do what he had to do, Klaus goes, would you say the same thing if it were hope? And Haley says, don't use hope. Because no one else in this story sees Marcel as Klaus's son. And that's a huge problem. Because if no one else sees him as his son, no one else treats him like this, what are the reasons for that? If it's, if it's because he's adopted, that's already terrible. Because you're just saying adoptive children are not the same as biological ones, and that's fucked up. And then you have on top of, the, on top of it that Marcel's entire storyline is about him trying to get out of the shadow of the Michelsons. About every time he has power, or success, or triumphs, or family, the Michelsons will kill them, destroy it, take it away from him, constantly. The strong black male character is constantly being dragged down by his white family. And that's it. They're his family, and they're white. And there's even the scene in the most recent episode, um, I believe it's I forget what it's called, but I'll link to it down below. In the most recent episode, there is a scene where Marcel is, is, has been captured. Elijah tells Marcel that he is not needed, welcome, or wanted. For seasons of watching Marcel be mistreated, of watching him have to beg for scraps from his family, to then be told that he has essentially been replaced as family by hope, in terms of his necessity, and, and that his purpose was to make Klaus better. Not to be a strong man for himself, not to be a good person for himself, but to make Klaus better. And because he did not do that, he no longer has a purpose. His entire identity is wrapped up in being an emotional servant to these people. And to watch him as a man of color deal with that, to watch him as someone who's, who's adopted, to be told by his family that you are not wanted, you are not needed, and you were never one of us because you're not a Michelson, because you're not white, because you're not our blood. You do not matter. That is a terrible, fucked up narrative for the show to have. And it does this so, so strongly that I'm like, do you understand what you're doing? The show has constantly had racial issues. I mean, there are times where like the white characters will invade the bodies of black women and take them over without their consent or from just steal their bodies and do whatever. They're always munching and killing on every other minority that they can fucking see or taking their power or removing them. You know, Vince is a super powerful witch, but Freya can come with her little two cent bit magic and blast that shit off. Right now, even, they're doing this relationship between Freya and 
this bisexual black werewolf where they kidnapped her. They tied her up. They put her in this sort of like mouth clamp machine to drain her fucking venom from her mouth and use her as a as a thing. But now it's all okay and they're being all flirty relationship wise. Like this is what they're doing on this show. They have had Elijah have several women of color love interests, but none of them have ever gotten the care or attention as Haley, as Catherine or Elena. It's it's sometimes difficult to explain these sort of things to a larger audience because I think for some people they think of it as just like, it's not about race, it's about the story and getting the best people to tell those stories and what well, would you rather this or not that. But to me the issue is this. Alright, perfect example. When Elijah and Ani's relationship was brought to the forefront of the show, it was never given the attention or the service that Klaus and Aurora's relationship was given. When Celine was brought um, from was brought up of being someone that Cla that Elijah loved, another black female character was brought up someone that Elijah loves and that was killed by Klaus. There was no attention given to that as a pain for Elijah, as a loss, as a lasting standing pain, not given any attention. When Gia was murdered, he was sad for a little bit, but he got over it. But if Klaus killed Haley, do you think Elijah would just be like, okay, bro, shit happens? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, if, like, Camille is still important to Klaus, even though she's dead. None of these dead women that Klaus has loved in the past is important to him. Even fucking Caroline, not even in this goddamn show, is more important to Klaus than any of the black women that fucking um, Elijah was, was with. And some of them he claims to have been deeply in love with. Where do we see their value in the show? Where do we see their value in their lives? Elijah used to, used to care about Marcel. He just turned that all off. He doesn't care about him anymore, and that's supposed to be okay? I think the issue for me is that because I've seen them do this in the Vampire Diaries, they have no goodwill on the originals. And I just, I really truly hope that they recognize, even though I doubt they do, because they wrote it this way, I doubt they understand how fucked up this all, this all is, but I do hope they fix it. Because they are spreading a very dark narrative right here of telling that these black adoptive kids don't matter as much as the biological white kids. Because that's, that's essentially exactly what they're saying and what they had Elijah say. Point fucking blank. The show can say that it wants to be colorblind, but they're not. Because the moment you made Marcel be a slave as his fucking origin story, you definitely bought race into it. Because you could have made Marcel a free black person. I mean, it's New Orleans. They existed then. And they definitely had free, um, you know, blacks in New Orleans. So you could have done that. But you didn't. You made him a slave. In your narrative. And now you want to pretend as though he has no issues from that. And that his relationship with his white biological white family and the Michaelsons are not so fucking similar and we the black audience are supposed to sit here and pretend like we can't fucking see this but I knew it from one moment the moment I knew that Marcel was not really family in the eyes of the Michaelsons or in the eyes of the writers was when they had Marcel have a sexual relationship with with Rebecca because that's his aunt you know that's his that's his adoptive aunt who helped raise him, and now they're having a sexual relationship. From the moment I saw that, I was like, okay. So either Rebecca never saw him as family in that way, which means that they don't have that kind of bond, and everyone's kind of cool with that, which I find fucking odd, but okay. Or it's a fucking weird child grooming situation, and that's also fucking terrible. So really, as soon as I knew that was happening, and that was going to be a thing for them, I was like, oh, so Marcel isn't really family. He's just kind of like Klaus's, what is it, what is the, what is that thing, his morality pet. And uh, if you thought this was something, just wait till I get into the whole gender discussion because the originals in gender has a lot of really subtle but very, very, very clear problems. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please, again, thumbs up, subscribe, share to anyone you think would like listening to my annoying voice. And um, yeah, let's pray that Marcel fucking you know, gets out of this okay. I, Bonnie lived, Marcel needs to live, and I'll be good. 